Hi, this is Professor Esther Dillard, and this is another tutorial. This one is on how to import audio into GarageBand from perhaps other areas like your Google Drive, or perhaps if you've recorded into GarageBand your own voice, and you want to take that audio and put it into a larger project. Let's get started. Once you open up the interface, you'll see where you were last. In our last tutorial, we ended um, with uh, me recording Esther's closing track. And I'm going to leave that. Uh, that screen is that last screen that we saw. So anytime you're using GarageBand, whatever thing that you are on last, that's what it comes back to when you reopen the application. In order for us to start a new project that might be a little bit larger, uh, will be a little bit larger. We're going to go to the upper right corner of the screen and press the plus button. Once you press the plus button, we're going to select audio recorder or the microphone because that's what we're primarily using in our project. Um, if you're recording, uh, if you're importing items um, into a project, a larger project, you don't need to have monitoring on, so I'm going to hit cancel. If you go into the upper right corner of the screen, you'll see there is a metronome that is highlighted in blue. You need to turn that off or you will have clicking all the way through your entire project. I talked about that last uh, tutorial. Select the wrench and also turn that uh, select metronome and count in and you're going to slide that slider on the count in uh, level or line and we're going to slide it to the left and turn that off. So there will not be a count in when you um, begin your project. Go to the plus button on the far right and we're going to change section A from 8 bars to automatic. I'm going to slide that slider um, next to automatic to the right so that I have as much time as I need to, in order to edit. I'm going to select that microphone um, in the middle of the screen. It is on studio, which is exactly where I want it to be. And I'm going to select vocals in the far left corner, uh, far left sl um, selections. I'm going to select vocals and the far right, uh, far right selections. I'm going to press narrator. And those two items will help me record my audio um, in a very simple way. Uh, for my project. Okay. And that way there won't be any strange plugins on my audio. Um, now that I have that done, I'm going to go to the far upper right, upper left corner, and you'll see there are some multi squares that are to the right of my songs. I'm going to select that. Now, if you see um, on your screen, you see one microphone and some numbers at the top. Um, that microphone represents a track or a space where you can put audio and begin editing. Um, typically when you're doing a larger project, you want to have more than one track because if you have one track and you try to arrange a large project on one track, you'll have many problems because you can't have, you won't be able to smoothly um, go from one soundbite to another and uh, the transitions will be uh, very, very cut off and it'll sound um, not as professional as you want it to be. So in order for me to make my sound and my project to sound as professional as I want, I'm going to um, create about six tracks. I'm going to press the plus button in the far left bottom corner of the screen and that's going to give me the option to select another instrument and I'm going to press microphone again. And um, then I'm going to go to the upper left corner of the screen to the squares again because Right now, since I did the uh, first microphone and set everything up, um, my second microphone that I pick is going to do the same, it's going to keep the same um, settings that I created for the first microphone. So go to the far left corner, upper corner of the screen, select that multi-square again, and now I have two uh, tracks with microphones. So I'm going to do this four more times so I have select, so I have um, six tracks. Again, go to the plus at the far left bottom, select the microphone, go to the far upper left, uh, and you have created three tracks, and I'm just going to keep going. So now I have six tracks, um, which is exactly what I wanted. And I'm going to import some audio from our Google Drive. 
thing you want to do is go to the far upper right corner of the screen and press the loops button. That loops button is right next to that um, wrench. It gives you various options. Um, Apple Loops, which has music in uh, the Apple Loops. I'm sure you've listened to Apple Loops before. If not, um, I'll grab one of the uh, audio so you can just kind of look at it. All right, so you can select any of this audio if you'd like and drag it in. Um, it will create a new or uh, a new line for your audio, and it'll um, change that microphone to a different um, icon because you're using music. Um, typically, with um, news stories, you don't put uh, music underneath unless, of course, you've gone to an event where you've recorded audio of a performer and you use the sound underneath. But um, typically we're not going to be using Apple loops in our projects. Go to the middle uh, option, which is audio files. And you'll see there are a number of items that are uh, already uh, in my list. Um, how I did that was that I went to the uh, folder at the bottom that says browse items from files app. And um, right now it has recents up, but if you go to the folder on the bottom, which says browse, um, it gives you options of looking in different applications that you have on your iPad. On my iPad, I have my uh, Google Drive, I have Creative Cloud, I have uh, Dropbox, I have iCloud Drive, uh, and various places where I have audio. And I can search for that audio by simply going into the um, search window, typing in the name of the audio that I've saved in the cloud, and then find it. And that's what I did recently. And that's why you see if you, um, and if you select any of these audio uh, pieces, you can see um, I can, it will just populate um, in the list below. So I'm going to select Dr. Payone Sot 2. And it's going to make another copy of Dr. Payone Sot at the top. So in order to get it into my interface, I'm going to drag, uh, tap onto the uh, audio that I want, hold on to it, and then drag it into the interface. And as you can see, it just went right in. Go back to the loops button, which is right next to the wrench in the upper right. I'm going to dra drag in uh, Sot 1, 2, and 3 in order. So I'm going to tap drag and I'll have sot one two and then I'll go to the um, that's sot one I'll go to the loop button and then I'm going to grab two and loop button again and whoops and lap to number three um, in order to edit this further we're going to talk about that in the next tutorial but I'm going to show you just quickly how to see all of your audio if you can't see it all and it kind of bleeds off the end of the screen like I do have for my first track. Just pinch in with two fingers and you'll be able to see more of the uh, of the audio so that you can see all of your audio. And right now I can see all of my audio now and I can move things around in order to um, edit it further. So, um, oh, last thing, of course, that we want to do is make sure that we uh, save it. Go to the far left corner of the screen, My Songs. And I'm going to double tap my the word My Song. And I'm going to change this to uh, Marijuana Audio Project for tutorial. Done. Okay, let's say you want to use some of the sound that you created in another um, story uh, and you want to, or you've recorded your voice in GarageBand and you want to put that inside your final project. And I did that here as an example, uh, Esther's closing track. I'm going to tap onto Esther's closing track and I'm going to tap on the uh, multi square to the very left and you'll see the audio there. If I move the 
indicator time indicator um, which is at the far right and I drag it all the way to the beginning and I hit the play button in the middle of the screen and I'm going to say a couple words Mary had a little lamb its fleece was white as snow and everywhere that Mary went what the lamb was sure to glow uh, so I can use that audio um, I'm definitely not going to use the Mary had a little lamb but I will use the last part of the audio which is um, and I'm going to say something like in Manhattan, I'm Esther Dillard. Okay, so I want just that in Manhattan, I'm Esther Dillard at the end. And I'm going to put the time indicator right before it. Because I really don't want to take the whole thing, the Mary Had a Little Lamb, I'm going to just split that audio. So I'm going to tap onto the, um, the audio waveform once and then tap on it twice. And then when you tap on it twice, it allows you to um, have different things. You can cut, copy, paste, delete, loop, split, rename settings. I'm going to hit split. And then I'm going to drag that, those scissors down to cut that audio right there. Now that I've cut the audio, I'm going to just select the area that I want, which is the end of the um, recording. And I tap it once. And now I have that little clip that I want. And what I'm going to do is double tap it and I'm going to copy it. Um, I selected copy. I'm going to go back to my songs, which is in the far left corner of the screen. And then I'm going to go back to the uh, last project that we were working on, which is marijuana audio project for tutorial. And I'm going to tap that. And I'm going to go to the last open, um, the first open um, track and I'm going to tap it and it gives me an option to paste or select all. I'm going to hit paste. And that's that last audio uh, that I just uh, recorded. So there you go. You have just imported audio from your Google Drive as well as from another recording that you made in GarageBand. Congratulations. We're going to go on to our next tutorial. Please come back and learn how to edit this um, compilation of audio pieces into a final piece. <laughs>